Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about two different projects that can help you get a job as a back end developer and can also get you some money. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get into it. So, the first project that we have here is a real estate agency's website. Now, as you guys can see, this is a real website from a real agency, right? But it's super outdated, okay? So right now, a lot of people are going to places like Fiverr or even going to Upwork to hire developers to build them a custom uh, agency website where they could go and list their properties, okay? Uh, they wanna go and compete with websites like Zillow. Not the point like they're trying to compete with Zillow because Zillow it basically is a platform to list every type of listing that's out there but they want to have some of the features that something like zillow has and have a more modern look for their websites right so things like this one right here if you look at it is pretty old right and shoot it, it doesn't even look good when we go and, and try to make this responsive as you can see this looks crazy this doesn't even work properly okay so yeah this this people they need <laughs> they need this type of application now you can go and create a web application that will work for one specific agency or you could go and create one that could work for a whole bunch of different agencies and then you could sell that code as you know as like a software and you could have it like software as a service okay so we're going to talk about the features that you need for this so you need to have users you need to have agents and you need to have the roles of administrators okay so again we're going to start with user authentication we need that now users can register they can message agents and then save listings that's it. It's like a wish list. You go in, you like a property, you click on the heart, you save the property. Okay. Then from there, you have the agents. The agents can list the properties. They can view reports on the listings, meaning how many people have actually saved it, how many people are viewing the property. Um, you can see, you know, maybe having a, a dashboard like this where you could, could see, you know, the different dates, uh, the different days of the week of how many people are actually looking at the property, right? Um, people could go in and message the agent to go in and book a time to be able to view the property. So again, these are like the basic features that you need for a real estate agency, right? Um, again, you have the view reports, right? Now we're going into the administrative, right? So administrator is the person who can modify the listings, can also add users. So I could be the administrator. I'm the owner of this agency. I can go and add users to be agents. I can add users who maybe are not tech savvy, like let's say you got older folks, so you might be able to go and create that account for them. And then from there, they can go in and, and go to the website and you give them a, a email and a password and they could log in with that information, but you could do it manually as the administrator. Now, as an administrator, you can see the reports of the whole web application. Again, going back to a dashboard like this, where you can use a template like this and, and set up those type of reports where you can see, you know, who are the top agents that are selling the most properties or showing the most properties, uh, which properties are the most popular throughout the week. Again, um, which uh, users have been looking at the most properties so you could track all of these things and create reports for the administrators. OK, uh, so this is something that you can all do if you are a back end developer. Now, again, if we look at all these features, this is not that difficult. OK, you're going to have to have roles. You're going to have to have user authentication. You're going to have to uh, be able to be comfortable with certain statements like let's say sql statements right uh being able to pull out the data from the database right uh being able to organize and, and structure your database uh for this to work now this is a great opportunity for all of you guys to go and try to tackle a project like this because it will teach you everything about the back end now not only is it good for you to practice 
and being able to figure out how to build something like this but then you can also reuse this code like i said and when you go to places like fiber or upwork and you see people asking for a real estate agent's website right now you have a starting point to be able to build whatever it is that they might need this right here gives you all of the basic features for an agency and then from there whatever else they want for you know for their project you can reuse this code and then go start off from there okay so again it's a great project i might be doing this for codingphase.com because i think that this is a great project I, i've done this like two times uh, in my career and i had a lot of fun as a you know full stack developer but again for back end if you really want to get into the back end you should definitely try to tackle this project here okay now the next one that we have is single product store now a single product store is easier than you trying to build a full e-commerce website like for example if you try to build uh something like fashion nova um dot com which is a website where they sell clothes for women right there's a lot of features in here that does take a lot of time like you got to build an inventory management system you got to build a way for the customers to communicate with um you know the merchants you have to set up a discount system you have to set up so many things that at that point i would say just use shopify so like that you could just um you know get going and start selling your products right but if somebody wants to go in and sell a single product directly to the consumers to their customers to their fans they can go and create a website on gumroad.com now you as a developer you can build your own gumroad the same thing that gumroad does for customers right you can do the same thing uh for people too okay now the good thing in where you could pitch it to somebody is the fact that instead of you having to pay the fees right on gumbro which i believe is like you know nine percent you know seven percent five percent three percent two point nine percent like they charge a certain amount of uh, uh of things in here that doesn't make no sense okay because this is such a simple uh website to do that at that point you as a developer can go and tackle in creating your own gumroad for customers okay and they could sell their products directly to their fans and whoever it is that wants to buy their product right? now again this is also great for those people that you know don't want to have you know what we call like big brother over the shoulder where they could just pull the plug and say hey you're selling this product and we don't think that you you could be selling this product right or we don't want you selling on our platform i mean we're seeing what's happening with joe rogan right when you go in into all these major platforms you got to go by their rules now if you own your own website um guess what <laughs> you make your own rules right as long as it's not something illegal then you're gonna be fine but basically you could go in and sell uh, your own products without having to be paying crazy fees to a bigger company so again now you as the developer what are the features that you need to be adding for a single product store you can go in and have the users the merchants and the administrative right now there's two ways that you can tackle this you can say uh, Lil Billy wants to sell his PDF book let me go in and build him an online store okay and that's fine you could build him in simple online store where he could sell his products he could charge the customers okay he could get the information of the customers like the address if he got to do some shipping right uh or he has to uh put a place where they could download it digitally whatever it is right um you can do that so that's one way that you can tackle this or you can go in and tackle this by creating a gum road type of website where you're no longer serving just one customer right you're also serving a whole bunch of different merchants right so a whole bunch of people can sign up to your service uh, let's say you call it icell.com and just like gum road all of these people can go in and create their online stores to sell that one product that they want to sell again okay? so if we look over here again going back to the features we have users that can register and buy products then from there you have your merchants that can register and sell products then from there they can also have subdomains 
to your website. So if it's um, lilbilly.icell.com, right? Icell is your domain. The subdomain is Lil Billy. So now they could go in and give that to uh, their friends or their fans, whoever it is that that they they want to buy their product. They could have that subdomain. Now you can also set up a system where you know Lil Billy can go in and have his lilbilly.com and connect to your application and basically have uh, your application uh, be used for that custom domain so instead of them going to lilbilly.icell.com now they're going to lilbilly.com and it shows them their store okay uh from there you have uh being able to view analytics right so the user whoever the merchant is he might need to have information about how many people have actually landed on their page how many people have actually you know clicked on the checkout button right so you want to give that information to the user and you could track all of those things uh through the website and basically give them those analytic uh dashboards right again coming back over here you can do this on something like this this is a beautiful template that you can use a lot of these are, are free if you search on let's say uh template or let's say admin template free admin template you will see a website called color lib they always have like the best free templates that uh, is for you know for dashboards and, and you could save a lot of time right so you're really just working on the logic of your application instead of having to build a dashboard from scratch okay so going back over here we have you know that analytics for the stores right for the merchants to be able to see their analytics on their stores then from there you could also set up a system where there's different tiers right so you could say the there's the basic tier and then there's the pro merchants tier okay now in the pro version right there could be two differences right you have the basic where they can charge twenty dollars per month right and that will be for you to host their website for you to host their their online store and then you could do exactly what gumroad is doing which is processing their payment and then you could charge either a percentage fee or you could charge um like let's say a few dollars every every sale that the person gets so like let's say for example somebody selling a product for twenty dollars you could charge two dollars to process the the payment for them and you could be using something like stripe or paypal now if they sign up for being a pro member which they sell you know their own products right on their own store but now they could go in and set up their own custom stripe accounts and their own custom paypal accounts then the, you could charge them fifty dollars because now you're no longer getting paid from every sell that they're making you're just saying hey pay me a set fee right of thirty dollars more than what you was paying as a basic member and then now that's it we call it even right this is the same model that uh this website has this is the company that i have some uh, some of my courses here on codingphase.com teachable this is how they make money right they come in and they tell you well you got the free you got the basic right they charge you five percent per transaction so every time that you go in and you you make a sale you got to pay them five percent of your sale right so if you want to pay thirty dollars shoot you could pay thirty dollars but we're gonna have to keep five percent of your income right now for the pro members it's a hundred dollars a month right and then from there you could go in and have no transaction fees so this is what i'm saying when i tell you you could have a paid basic one which is just hey for twenty dollars we set up your store you can sell your product and we'll handle the processing fee and we pay you that's it you don't have to worry about nothing but you want the pro pay us fifty dollars or a hundred dollars whatever you feel like your your service is worth right you charge them more and say you can go in and put your own paypal you could go in and put your own stripe okay so basically you make um enough money to keep everything uh, you know maintained on the website uh but at the same time you don't have to deal with so much fees okay now as far as the admin the admin can ban merchants right can remove them off the platform can view reports on all of the stores right so the things that you can do for a merchant so a merchant can say hey let me see the reports for my store an administrator can go in into a store 
and then see their reports. So pretty much whatever is available throughout the whole website, you can see it as an administrator. Okay. So that's something that you guys can do. Now, again, this is a very simple uh, application. It doesn't take that long. It might seem like big, but it is really not. Okay. Um, I think the, the, the biggest thing is if you want to go in and start giving the merchants the ability to have custom layouts or custom templates, right? That's something that you could go in and, and it could take you a little bit of time. But initially, you could just go in and create maybe one or two templates for for the you know for the customers for the merchants to be able to choose from either choose this one or choose this one right i believe gumroad is the same way uh gumroad doesn't even have that many templates like custom templates uh there's another website called was it sam cart i used to be using this a lot uh, a few years ago and basically it's just a platform that allows you to sell one specific product okay is is the same thing there's a lot of money in this this world of of you know creating a platform where people can sell the products and it can be super easy for them to just start making some money um as you can see here you got 39 dollars per month 79 dollars per month 159 dollars per month and that's built annually when you go monthly you're paying that full price you get what i'm saying so definitely i will say you know look into these two projects right here Hopefully, this could help you guys out, get some ideas. Um, maybe in the future, I might be adding some of these projects to CodingPhase.com. I'm definitely going to be adding this real estate one. Um, maybe for PHP and Laravel, this is something that we're working on right now. Uh, but for you guys, you know, you got these two projects. This one's a little bit bigger. This one is pretty small. You can go in and try to tackle those two. But yeah, so these two projects are very solid. You know, just because you're going to learn everything that has to do with the back end and also to how to communicate the front end with the back end and, and how everything just works together and will solidify you as a full, you know, full stack developer. So if that's something that you want to go for and, you know, sometimes as junior developers, we might not have all the ideas of like, man, what should I build? What will be a really good project right now? I just gave you two solid projects that you guys can go and tackle. All the features that I just mentioned, you write it down, right? You go in, you break it down step by step, which one you're going to do first, right? And then from there, go in and start building your application. This could be, each one of these could be like, you know, anywhere from two weeks to a month uh, to a month of, of work. But at the end of the day, now you have a solid project that you can either make money independently, right? Use that to get a job or even create, you know, uh, a starting point to be able to offer this services to people online so you can make money. Okay. So definitely, uh, check it out and let me know in the comment section, what you guys think about these two projects. Now, guys, if you are looking to learn how to code, definitely go to codingphase.com. If for whatever reason, this type of project seems like a little bit over your head, you're like, man, this is too much. Actually, like it's not like all you really need is the right instructor to break it down for you guys. And here at CodingPhase.com, like that's what I do. I come in, I break it down into, you know, lame terms where anybody can pretty much tackle projects like this. Right. And you're going to learn the skills. Right. With 20 bucks, bro, like you're good to go. You're going to get all of the skills that you need to build projects like this. Okay. You can always upgrade to a diamond member, which gives you extra features like, you know, community access, uh, the programming courses that is on the goal membership, uh, exclusive content that is not on the goal membership, career bundles, right? Uh, group coaching like today, today is Monday. We are doing accountability meetings at 7 PM, right? So if you want to get access to all of that, definitely come to codingphase.com. Come check it out. Okay. Uh, we have this different career paths. So you got content editor. If you really just want to get a, a job ASAP, HTML email developer, uh, you have the general routes like front end developer, back end developer, full stack. You have things that you could specialize in like react developer, Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer. And now of course, PHP developer that you can also come and join and, and learn about uh, PHP development to be able to build applications just like the ones that I just mentioned in this video. Uh, but yeah, like I said, come check it out. Codingphase.com. You know, it doesn't hurt to go and try a new platform and, and, and see something new. 
so you can learn all of these things okay so i'm gonna stop right here guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace